this spring, we got to organize what I thought was a remarkable study trip for 15 Fletcher students to Russia over 10 days. We got to visit St. Petersburg for a couple of days, uh, got to tour Moscow, taste cuisines from all over the post-Soviet region, and interact with local experts on Russian foreign policy, domestic politics, economics, and so on. The most important part of the trip was our collaboration with Angimo University and working with 15 students in Russia on policy papers on cybersecurity and the North Korea crisis. We eventually got to present these papers to the U.S. Embassy in Moscow and the Russian Federation Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I thought it was incredible how much we got to bond with our colleagues in Russia. Today was our first day in Moscow and it is an incredible city. Today is election day and it's an exciting time for Russians here. Uh, we had dinner with two experts tonight and it was really interesting to hear their perspective about how they viewed the election, how they viewed foreign policy, where they see the country going. It was an amazing opportunity to be able to talk with uh, experts on Russian domestic politics on the day of the Russian presidential election. Uh, it was a great, honest, and open conversation, and I think we all benefited from hearing a different perspective than we traditionally hear uh, back in the States. Great. It was an amazing uh, conversation, really frank. We were all able to like, express our point of views. Uh, it was sometimes tense, but like very constructive at the end. And uh, I even got some podcasts. But I would like to emphasize the fact that each and every one of um, the Fletcher students that came to Russia uh, to participate in that program uh, has proved to be outstanding personalities. You can see that, that they're um, passionate about and dedicated to what they do and curious and at the same time very knowledgeable about Russia which is a requisite for improving our relations. I just finished up a really long week of work with my Russian colleagues and American colleagues from Fletcher. I learned a lot myself um, and reflected on this whole experience and I came to realize that both US, the US and Russia have so many common interests. This was a very great experience for me and I feel like I've met a lot of great people and talented as well and I feel, I feel like these people are going to be the next generation uh, of leaders in our group of cyber security group who created a great bond. I hope this connection between Fletcher and Gimo will continue in the future. I feel optimistic about our Russian counterparts working here someday. The experiences that we have had are really powerful and I really hope that in my future career, like a day will come where I really look forward to meeting them, you know, at state or wherever. What stood out for me the most in this experience was the fact that um, we all came in with our different expectations, and some of us expected there to be a little tension since the relations between our countries are so strained right now. But it all turned out to be such a natural experience. I think we really try to respect each other's opinion, to really see what the other person means. Uh, we also try to establish relations not only in the workshop but also outside of it. And at a time when U.S.-Russia relations are in an all-time low since the Cold War, tensions have built up so much, uh, it is exchanges like the ones that the Fletcher School and MGIMO University are currently doing that will be important for building mutual trust and understanding going forward, particularly for future leaders who will shape the U.S.-Russia relationship. Thank you so much to our colleagues at MGIMO and our partners at Carnegie Corporation of New York for making this trip possible. We hope we get to do it again.